Okay, y'all. D from the fishing garden. Gardeners. Look at that dwarf Hawaiian. So here we are in November, and the dwarf Hawaiian just does not want to stop. And believe it or not, I actually already harvest some fruits off of this. And it's still going. That's that dwarf of wine. She's doing good. Them Jabba Jakartas, they sitting over there. They got they pruned for the... For I actually pruned them down in um September. So... Trying to make sure you get that bark nice and strong. Trying to get all that energy to go to that bark. Because that's where the fruit's going to wind up. And that's a red sabra. And that's the regular grape or purple Java Jakarta right there. She's growing well. And that's my little cutting of the red sabra Java Jakarta. Little cutting. So yeah, just wanted to bring you that. Dwarf Hawaiian star fruit right there. And it's doing this thing. I mean, if you want to treat that fruits, wow. It's just doing this thing. And it's in a 45 gallon container. So I'm probably going to take it in, take it out, and put it in the ground. Because I have a tree over there that, that doesn't seem that it's going to make it, which is my mango fruit punch tree. So I'm probably going to take this tree and put it in that area. Because once I take it out of there, I know it's really going to bloom. And it'll fit very well in that area. So, yeah. And this is where even some of them are falling. As you'll see. you see, you know, where the ones that wasn't supposed to make it. Didn't make it. Okay, so just bring you that star fruit. Dwarf Hawaiian star fruit in case you want one. Easy growing tree. I don't do nothing to it but put it in the, um, put it in the pot and let it do what it do. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.